Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to place the sheet index as a table on your plan set. So one thing we added in the last release and kind of further enhanced for the upcoming July release here is a, a report, like a microstation based report that will basically give us a sheet index like this when we place it as a table. So it kind of uses a combination of the microstation reports and the microstation place table tool to give you a table like this in here for the sheet index here, which can really save a lot of time because if you used to you know, be further pretty far along in the, the design and the plans production and you have your sheet index already built like this and then say you had to go insert you know a sheet right in the middle here you know that used to have to be a lot of work to go and renumber all the the individual sheets and then also this rebuild the sheet index here but that's pretty easy and smooth process now so i'm going to obm here and i already have my sheets placed into my sheet index tool here I created two subfolders, one for general sheets, one for bridge one, and I'll just kind of take a quick look at the properties here. These ones have a rule, uh, folder rule here with the sheet prefix of B dash, and then obviously B1 is going to be one dash. So to use the sheet index tool, you can just go up here to the play sheet index as table. And you'll want to make sure you have uh, this from report, which it should default to. The seed is going to be sheet index structures. And then the report, there's two of them in here. This one is actually a default Bentley one. Uh, we're trying to remove that one here, but for the meantime, it is still in there. But the one you're going to want to use is the sheet index structures report. And then what that'll do is give you a nice table here of your sheet index. Go ahead and place this, and this is a microstation uh, table here, so you're able to you know resize as needed. It's not just like a, a static cell like they kind of used to be here, and you know for sheet indexes such as you know this one here, obviously this one's a really long one, and you had to spill over to the other side here. So you might wonder, well, if I have one giant long sheet index, how does that work with this particular tool? Well, this is a very dynamic tool in the sense they have these table breaks in the bottom here, so. Let's you know pretend like this was you know a really long list of sheet index of sheets here and it goes you know beyond the bottom of the page here. Well there's a table breakdown here that'll automatically break your table for you and put it next to it, which is really nice. So you can just go ahead and resize that table break to whatever you need to fit your sheet. In my case here, I don't need that, so I'll just go back to the full size. And this is a good way and quick way for us to do that, that sheet index uh, sheet now. And a nice, a kind of a quick preview of what it looks like when you, you know, update things and resequence re sheets, right? That used to be a nightmare to have to handle. Uh, but now let's go ahead and see what that looks like in here. So I'm just gonna go and take maybe this last sheet down here, load rating table, right? Bring it up to maybe second from the first here in between the two PE sheets. So the sheet index tool automatically renumbers all your sheets for you in the sheet index. And to go ahead and renumber all the sheets, the data fields and in the individual sheets, uh, you can just right click on that folder and say update sheet model properties. And you'll see a little uh, message down here that says that it is complete. So all those fields have been updated. The number of fields, sheet number fields have been updated in all the sheet models as well now. So, you know, this table here didn't update yet, right? Because it's, it's somewhat static in the sense you have to tell it to go refresh itself. So you can simply click on the table, right click up here and say refresh table. And voila, so now I have my sheet index has been updated, right? That load rating summary table is now up in here. All the other sheets have been resequenced to match my sheet index over here. Um, so yeah, this process is a lot easier now with this tool and is a really big time saver. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and share with others. And I'll see you guys in the next video.